Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. Apple has released iOS 17 beta to all developers today. Get about 1.36 gigabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro on my 13 Pro Max and I installed it. Bill number is 21A5268H. See right there? And there are more than 10 to 13 changes in this beta that I wanna go over with you guys today. So let's get started. In the About section, when you click on iOS version, you guys can now see that iOS 17 Beta 2 has an updated iOS About section right here. So instead of saying this, where it says this beta contains bug fixes, it will now say this. iOS Beta gives an early preview of upcoming features, apps, and other things. Please back up your iPhone before you install the beta. So that is new for Beta 2. Right, so in Settings, when you go to Standby, you can now see we have a new option for show notifications and the description has been updated. So previously it said, standby will turn on when stationary landscape while on power to show information. Now it says this, standby will activate when iPhone is turned on side while charging. So you guys see a slightly updated description there. In settings, we go to phone. When you scroll down, there is now a new tab on beta 2 for call blocking and identification. Previously, it only had four tabs. So basically what this does is, it says, display verified caller information identified by at and for caller call identification for business ID. So when you go to software update now, two things. Apple has now added back the arrows that were missing from beta 1, low arrows to indicate whether it's tab or not. Second thing is, in iOS 17 beta 1, this change was not visible until beta 2 released, but there's a new update screen for software updates. So instead of saying download now, there's an update now and update tonight. So a nice little splash screen makes things easier to learn and a new description as well. Alright, so in the clock app, you guys can now see the cancel and start button are now fully filled in. There's no longer this outline ring around it. So a nice little UI change. Second thing is, when you go and start a timer now, when you go ahead and delete your timer, you can now see on beta 2, there's a new edit button now, which wasn't present on beta 1. In the Maps app, and by the way, I moved my map away from my current location for this demo. So previously on beta 1, when you place the pin, you see three buttons here. But now on beta 2, you guys can now see there's a new download offline maps button. So nice to have that. On settings, when you go to music, Previously, on iOS 17 Beta 1, when you turn on Crossfade, the tab would crash. So then we try to go back into it, turn it off, it would crash. But now we turn it on, app, it's no longer crashing. So Apple has fixed the crashing issue while turning on Crossfade. So in settings, we go to passwords. I had to screenshot this for privacy reasons. But as you guys can see, on iOS 17 Beta 2, the colors have now changed. They're no longer blue like this. They are now green and gray. Settings, when you scroll down, there is now a new option tab for fitness, for the fitness app, for activities and all that. All right, so that is iOS 17 beta 2 today. So there were not that many changes. There are still quite a bit, but not as much as iOS 16 earlier had. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.